thinking I'm going to burn off all these weeds out here too. This looks like a potential useful land. Quite a few deer runs in here. The deer come through here. This draw here usually has some water in it, and there's another draw over there. And they go down here around the corner, and uh, that's where the dam would be. This would be pond up here. You see the grass there? Uh, that would be, those trees would be on the edge of it. Uh, these boxwoods here, they're, they'd be in the water pretty much. Or they have their feet in the water anyway. They gotta come out. There's a lot that's gotta come out here. But, uh, yeah, this is our pond. This is our potential pond. Uh, boy, it's hard to see it on the telephone, but uh, this is our potential pond. We rent an excavator, and we take some material from up here and bring it down over here to the pond dam site. And uh, uh, a lot of briars, a lot of briars. second draw comes down there and the two have joined together here and right here is what I'm thinking of as the dam consider a dam. I, uh, what do we call that? A maple? No. Hickory. Take out that hickory, I think. Because that's right where the dam is. Unless the dam is just behind it. But it would it'd be in the water. Because, uh, I'm standing in the water actually right here. I'm just about a foot below water line. The water line would be just about where this cherry stump is right there. Now, that cherry, uh, I'm thinking that's about the water line right there. So, a dam, an earth dam across here with all the material from it coming from over here. All the material comes out of the upper side, that way what you disturb is in the pond and is uh, not unsightly or it's a good place to have it. It added volume to the pond, but uh, this would be a pond right beside the house almost. You could see it from the house. You can see the barn roof up there just. Uh, and, uh, yeah, the house, I mean, uh,
Okay, so. There's quite a bit of water coming down that draw. But, uh, yeah, the dam is there. And, uh, this is the pond. Up to that ash and the elm, that maple. They're all, uh, yeah, and then right up there, up that draw, and you can just see the house beside the barn there. Um, yeah. And this is beautiful green field here, isn't it? Can't you see this is beautiful green field if I burn off the brush and pasture it, rotational pasture it, uh, dairy and uh, sheep. What do you think? And also, uh, I want to do chicken catchers. I want to do. I want to do uh, three kinds of poultry. I'm thinking of chicken catchers. I want to do the conventional Cornish crosses, and then I'd like to do. Rhode Island Reds, I call them New Hampshire Reds, that's what we called them up home. And, uh, yeah, I like to do some uh, egg birds, but I want to get, like, I'm thinking, like, maybe 400 egg birds, because any amount of egg birds you've got, once you get them up to the age of ready to lay, those egg birds are worth fifteen, twenty, twenty-five dollars each. Uh, that's quite a re return on your investment. I know that chicks are more than they used to be, but still, uh, the Amish community here has a real hunger for chickens ready to lay, and uh, most every Amish farm raises their own eggs. Still. Fewer and fewer of them milk, but uh, they do make their own eggs, and so raise them up and see if they're in chicken tractors running across this, helping the land. This land needs some help. It's been neglected for nine plus years, and uh, but chicken tractors would give it. Vitality, give it manure, and uh, there's quite a acreage right here. Actually, I would say we get an acre field here. You can measure it roughly, go all the way down to the pond below the dam. It looks like there's cleared ground. Uh, the way I like to do this is I run one hot wire out here, 15 joules, none of this two joules solar junk they're selling, but uh, yeah, run a hot wire, uh, charger's right there in the barn, and wouldn't take much to run a hot wire out here. And uh, I don't do what Justin Rhodes does, and I run my wire up off the ground, I don't run it insulated in amongst culverts and under things and buried and along the bottom of fence rows. If you've got a wire, it should be uh, up high enough that uh, it's insulated by its height and uh, overhead line. High enough that uh, you can walk under it if need be, in places. Go high rather than go low. This looks like uh, we got the start of a fence there. That's got woven wire or sheep and goat on it, as well as the board fence. Uh, yeah, I can see this is going to burn off tomorrow. Just, no, not tomorrow, tomorrow's late. But uh, next day we get like today. I'm not going to burn it today. I'm low on batteries. I 
thinking of doing something where I'm where I can plug in. Just about out of battery. I'm downloading, uploading one video as we speak. That's not as bad as I think. This used to be oil territory, and you see right here, there's an oil, oil well head right there. And, uh, that's our wintering big barn, farrowing barn. Gonna take some work. I gotta burn around that too, I was just noticing on the way down here. Uh, what I did burn, Today it's all out now, but it did burn well. I'm happy with it. How about you? You want to come and be a part of the Fredericktown Homestead? Contact JB the Milker at gmail.com. Look forward to hearing from you. It's a pretty place. I'd say that piggery is worth two fifty a month. Come on now. The rent's five hundred, I'll pay half of it, so can you afford to pay the other half and raise all your own food here? Uh, I'm gonna buy a lot of the livestock myself. That's up to negotiation when you get here, but uh, we'll talk about it. But I hope to with a, one of the Amish men here that raises jerseys and he's willing to sell me a jersey ready to milk and uh, yeah contact me I'm looking forward to hearing from you this is a big garden you ready to take it on all the way from here to the house and that cultivator will be going Pond down there, buggy out on the road, can you see it? Just barely see it. Yeah. Fredericktown Homestead welcomes the new people. Who are they? Please step forward. Looking forward to hearing from you. JBTheMilker at gmail.com. God bless.